What's up everyone? Um, I'm on vacation. I don't have a mic for the computer. So we're going to install a general and bubble, um, which creates bubbles on the live area. So you don't need a, um, a launch um, adrenaline to actually play the game. This is actually a little quick um, shortcut. So I already downloaded the VPK file. What you want to do is load up your Vita. And I don't have um, my USB. Actually, I do have my USB cord, but this time I'm going to use the FTP. Hit start. Change that to USB or FTP. We're going to stick with the FTP. I'm going to hit the select button. I'm sorry, this is so gorilla style filming. Let's go back to the PC and enter these numbers in. After you install the VPK file, what you want to do is hit select, I mean X to close out the prompt, go to your UX0, scroll all the way down to your VPK folder. If you've got one, you don't need one like I always tell you. I'm on vacation, I didn't bring my microphone for the uh, computer. I'm doing this in the bathroom. Now once this installs, you're more than welcome to uh, delete the file. It is a little big, 9.27 megabytes. But if you have the SD to Vita installed, you have more than plenty of room. You could keep it if you want. Hit the triangle, delete. Now uh, hit start, go to reboot if you'd like, it's totally up to you. I tend to do that, or just swipe out. There's the adrenaline bubble. Um, this is great because you don't need to keep going to the adrenaline app to play your PSP games and PlayStation Mobile games. Um, it creates a bubble right on the live area. All right, I downloaded Silent Hill. It's one of my favorite franchises, along with Resident Evil. Um, it gives you um, it gives you labels right here, so you know what you're actually doing. So if you hit start, it gives you another extra settings. Hit start again to exit out. Now where it says L, you want to hit the left bumper. Now this is going to be a full bubble. Now, this is going to be a white bubble with a small background image. So it's totally up to you. If you hit right, you'll have this as the background image, actually, um, when you launch the bubble itself. Or you could not have that. Um, you could change the background color of the bubble. It's up to you. But if I have something black like that, like a black background, I'd rather keep it black. Or you could just rock the white, the default. Hit now this right joystick. Hit up. Now this is what it's going to look like when you launch the bubble. Oop, wrong one. Uh, hit the D-pad up to swap, to switch over. Now it says right here, PSP Emu. This is what it's going to look like when you launch the bubble. Or you could have it as PS1 Emu. This, will, this is what it's going to look like. This is PS PlayStation Mobile. 
And this is just the default. So we'll keep everything the way it is. Now we've hit start button again. You actually assign the default color to, right now it's white. You can assign a black, red, green, blue, teal, gray, pink, yellow. So I'm just gonna keep it white. Now you can set the template, like I just showed you with the PlayStation menu, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation Mobile. It says right there. Let's just keep it A5, which I'm going to do. It tells you right down here what these options do as well. So let's hit start, get out of here. Let's see. How did I do this before? Create bubbles for non. I'm good. You hit the X button, you can change the title. If you don't want this, you can change the side of how the colons, origin, origins, but I'm just gonna keep it like that. Once you're done renaming, hit the O button to back out and wait for this to convert. I'm doing this because I get, it's been a while since I did a uh, video on um, PlayStation Rita. Nothing's really have come out as far as like porting of games yet. There you go. Now, unfortunately, through Adrenaline, um, there'll actually be some animation. So I'll show you that. Excuse me, excuse my face in the video. I know I'm ugly. Also, don't forget, there's an upgraded version of um, Adrenaline. You want to hold the PlayStation button? I'm at my parents' house, so if you hear the TV or you just heard my father blow his nose, you know why. You want to go to about version 7. So we're good. All right. So all downloaded games are going to be on your memory stick. Crap, I didn't mean to do that. That was my fault. I was too quick with it. Alright, let's try this again. See, this is cool watching through Adrenaline because it shows a little, little animation along with some music. But if you want to get out of here, just hit the zero, the O button. Double click on the PlayStation button. So either way, you're more than welcome to launch your games no matter what. But I kind of like the animation, the music, the little sound effects. Games loading. So that's it. That's how easy um, the bubble manager is to create bubbles. Um, other than that, thanks for watching. Like if you like, dislike if you dislike. Like I said, there's nothing really going out, nothing really out there right now. So I decided to tackle this. I know there's plenty of other videos out there that do this a lot better than I can. So thanks for watching.